homework time. Yes, happy, happy homework time is here again. We're done. We're doing it up here. We're finishing it out. This is the end of module four, lesson 16. Let's start in the usual way. Jot our name down at the top of the paper. Don't want to forget that. So we do it first. I'll put my name. You put yours. Don't write my name. Not me. Lucky you. All right. And let's also jot down today's date. All right, today you write the actual date. Use the grid, we are told, to construct the following. Name the figure you drew using one of the terms in the word box. There it is, the word box. Um, so let's look at the word box since we're there. Parallelogram, trapezoid, rectangle, square, and rhombus. Rhombus, yes. So we're to construct a quadrilateral with only one set of parallel sides. What shape do you create? I have a feeling you kind of got this stuff down. It's just definitions, right? So only one set of parallel sides. So a parallelogram has two sets of parallel sides, as does a rectangle, a square, and a rhombus. All of those have two sets, and our definition says only one set of parallel sides. So obviously that's the trapezoid. And here's how I like to draw trapezoids. You can draw them different ways. When you see them in your textbook, there are whatever materials you're using. Um, they're often drawn in different ways. So that's a trapezoid, right? We have, and I know mine isn't completely on that line, but yours should be. Um, so here is our set of parallel sides, right? And so name the figure. I don't know. I can circle it, but I'll also be a good boy and write it. What shape did you create? Trapezoid. Boom. And look like, just like that, number one is done. Well, number two is a bit of a conundrum, and honestly, I would uh, criticize our Eureka mathematicians on this one because it, the definition is, is rather nebulous. It's a little cloudy and indistinct. We're to construct a quadrilateral, so a four-sided figure, with one set of parallel sides and two right angles. Now, it doesn't say only one set of parallel sides, and it doesn't say only two right angles, which would actually fit the definition of the trapezoid that we uh, just drew in number one. So, uh, so this could be a square. We could draw a square. We could draw a rectangle. We could draw a trapezoid, just like we drew up in number one, but since we already did that, um, and the same goes with number three, just to look ahead before we finish two, construct a quadrilateral with two sets of parallel sides. Well, that could be uh, a rhombus, it could be a parallelogram, it could be a rectangle, it could be a square. Because it, it doesn't say anything about the angles. So I'm assuming that they're giving us the latitude to, to draw anything that fits that definition. Um, that it's not creating a restriction on it. But uh, shame on you, Eureka, you should be a little more specific here. Boom! How do you like that? All right. So I'm going to go with, with uh, it says one set of parallel sides. So that doesn't mean, in my mind, that it can't have two sets of parallel sides. And saying that it has two right angles doesn't mean it cannot have um, four right angles. So I'm going to indicate here, so I'm drawing a rectangle. Okay, so there's two. I might as well mark them all. What the hey. So, and there's my one set of parallel sides. And, and these are parallel as well. And I'll mark them, but it's not necessary. But I drew a rectangle, and it does fit that a definition above. But again, it has more than that. Um, so it didn't create a restriction. It's a little uh, you know, indistinct there. So two sets of parallel sides. Again, this, this could be parallelogram, rhombus, square, or rectangle. So all of those would fit that definition. I'm going to see if I can draw a rhombus without messing up. Let's see, I'm going to start from here and go up to there. I went over two, I'll have to remember that. And so it's one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, is that right? Oh, that's horrible. wonder if I can fix that. Let's see, let's see if I can fix it. Now I can move the whole thing. Oh yeah, yeah, I can move that up. Oh, now I'm just getting myself into all sorts of trouble. 
Oh, yes. Oh, we're going to leave well enough alone, aren't we? Let me just move it up so it looks a little better. Okay, so what I drew then was it has two sets of parallel sides, but I decided to draw a rhombus. All four sides are equal. There's my two sets of parallel sides. So I drew a rhombus. It fits that definition, although it includes other attributes as well. All right, well, no, enough of this miasma. Let's go on to number four. And number four is kind of more of the same. Construct a quadrilateral with all sides of equal length. Um, so uh, I just drew a rhombus. I could do a rhombus for this, right? All sides equal length. Um, but I just drew a rhombus. I don't feel like drawing another one. So I'm going to go ahead, even though they've given us this triangular grid, and I'm going to draw a square. All right. Hmm, that's funny. You, you see what's happening there. Okay, so there's my little square. I used the grid, but I had to, yeah, okay, there we go. All right, so this is a square. All sides are equal. And if you want to go that little step further, remember those, those tick marks say, hey, this side's equal to this side and this side's equal to this side. They're also parallel, and I can mark that, but that wasn't part of the definition. Hey, we're cruising. Let's go on to number five. Finish this out. Hand in number five. It says construct. This has a little bit of a trick to it. If you're, if you're going too fast and not thinking, you might mess it up, but we're not doing that. We're going to construct a rectangle with all sides of equal length. So even though it says construct a rectangle, we're not making just a rectangle. We're making that specialized rectangle that has all sides of equal length. And yes, I knew we just drew one of these in a number of four, but here we are in number five doing it again. We're drawing a square because a square is a rectangle, but a specialized one where all four sides are equal. Like a rectangle has opposite sides parallel, it has opposite sides equal, and it has four right angles, but the square has that extra attribute of having all four sides equal. So here we go, drawing a square. And if I remember rightly, it's going to be about yay. So I'm looking at my uh, number of pixels there. Ah, good enough. All right. And so indeed, this is a square. And can you believe it? What a monumental day it is for us both. We have completed Module 4. Nice work. You're all the way through Module 4. This homework time is complete. So I will see you on the flip side in Module 5. Next time, it is once again homework time.